All right, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and create some sample data in the JSON file. So let's open that up. So the way JSON stores data is in the uh, using a key value pair. So something like this. So the key and the uh, value are separated by a colon. And then we wrap this in curly brackets. And now let's do something with this. So we'll go ahead and save this. Hop over to the log file. Go ahead and comment out this, uh, or go ahead and actually remove echo task. Uh, that was just a test. We're now gonna use PHP to open this file and read its contents. To do so, we're gonna use a function called file get contents. And we're gonna save this into a variable. And we'll call this variable data. And then we need to pass it the file name, which is data.json. Now that we've got the contents of this file, we need to convert this JSON into something that we can uh, manipulate with PHP. So let's convert it into an array. And we're gonna store that in a variable that we will just call array. So array equals, and we're gonna use the JSON decode function, which takes the JSON, and then it wants to know whether we wanna turn this into an associative array, which is either true or one or true. Save that. Now, if we do a print R to dump out the uh, values, Save that, and we're just going to use this log file as a kind of a test ground for right now. So hop over to your browser and just go ahead and load that uh, log.php. There you go, the key, the value. So this is just a simple explanation. So let's take it a step further. And if you've done any of the videos with us before, we've usually used MySQL databases, which we take that data and then we toss it into an array. So we're essentially going to do the same thing here. Just instead of going through the process of using MySQL, since this is such a simple application, um, we're gonna use JSON. So if we add to this, actually let's put real values in here. So we'll call this a D one then uh, something else we're going to need is the task name so we'll just call that name and give it a name now if we need to do more than one we need to actually have a key for each one of these um, so Do another curly bracket, and actually we got to wrap this whole thing. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. So if this is the record, then this will be the key here. All right. So then what we can do is add to this. I'm just going to copy this and paste it, comma. Comma, paste, comma, paste, and we'll just go in here and change these numbers to two, three, three, and four. Save that. Work to our page, and there you go. So now this is looking similar to what we were pulling out of a MySQL database before. So we can now do something with this information. And what we could do is come over here to our index 
And let's go ahead and populate this table here. So we'll go over to log and let's just go ahead and copy this part here. And over in our index, right here after the T body tag, and toss this in here. And because this is an array, we can do a for each loop. It's going to run through each record in the array as, let's call this task. So this, and again, if you've done our other videos, this is going to be fairly similar to doing a while loop with the PHP um, or the uh, MySQL fetch associ. It's pretty much the exact same thing. Close that uh, loop here. So now we have this array here called task that's holding each record. And we can echo out the information here. And really all we have is an ID and a, and a task name. So we can really only fill in this column here. So let's replace this with the PHP, then the uh, equals for echo. task and the name. Go ahead and save that. Go back to our browser. Go back to our project and there you go. Now of course these, uh, I named them all the same so if we went in here and you can mess around with this but uh, if we just add some subtle differences here. Save that, refresh, there you go. So now you can see kind of how we're gonna go about getting data in here.